Hey everyone, it's Kelly Rush, Technical Product Manager for Camtasia. In case you missed it, we recently launched a great new feature in Camtasia, Audio Visualizers, which give you an amazing creative tool to help keep your audience engaged with your content and require an almost zero learning curve to get started. There's so many cool ways you can use audio visualizers, and you're seeing one right now with the audio bars around my profile picture. But what other great use cases can we come up with? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a great motion title using audio visualizers and a few other Camtasia tools that will pair well with your screen video. But first, if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the latest Camtasia tips, and leave a comment to let us know what else you'd like to see. Okay, before we get started, let's take a look at what we're going to build. We have our screen video framed by a dynamic background, which is already looking pretty great. But there's times when there isn't much happening on the screen, and that means the potential for your audience to get distracted. We're going to use an audio visualizer to pull their focus back to the screen. I'll start playing the video and watch what happens in the bottom left hand corner. Hey everyone, Chandra here. In this video, we're going to take a deep look at some of the features in the Mozilla Firefox browser. But before we get started, perhaps we should briefly start with where the Firefox browser came from. The motion graphic title, which includes a profile picture, text title, and audio visualizer, is a great way to keep your viewers focused on the screen, even during brief periods of visual downtime. And the best part is that you can make this in only a minute or two with Camtasia. Let's take a look. So here we are in Camtasia. I've already set up our screen video and dynamic background how I want them, so now it's time to add our motion title. This is going to show in the bottom corner of our screen, so we'll start building from there. First, let's import our profile picture, drag it to the canvas, and then resize and position it on the left-hand side of where our motion title will be. Great, that looks good. Next, let's add our text title. This is going to fill the bottom half of the right-hand side of the motion title and consists of two text annotations. Let's grab the first annotation, which is going to be the spot for our name, and put it roughly in the middle of the space. Then we can fill in our name. We can also adjust the text properties so that it looks a bit more attractive. Okay, let's grab our second text annotation, which will be what we use for our job title or description, and add it below our name. We'll also make this one a bit smaller, and once again change some of the font properties. Okay, that does it for the text titles. Finally, let's add our audio visualizer. In the Camtasia 2023 library, locate the Audio Visualizers folder, and grab the Audio Bars asset. Audio visualizers work just like any other piece of media in Camtasia, so just drop it onto the canvas and resize it so the width fits our text titles. The width is pretty good, so now let's tweak a few of the property settings for the audio visualizer, including the bar count and width, so that it looks a little bit cleaner. There, that's looking nice. And one last step. Let's adjust the lengths of all our clips on the timeline to last up until the action starts on the screen. And then let's add a glow transition to the start and end of each of the clips, just to give them a smooth entrance and exit. Hey everyone, Chandra here. In this video, we're going to take a deep look at some of the features in the Mozilla Firefox browser. But before we get started- And there you go. Perhaps we You've got an attractive, engaging motion title built completely in Camtasia, and it only takes a few minutes. These are just a great little tool to keep your viewers engaged while you're setting up the scene for your screen video and don't have a lot of motion happening. If you have other spots in your video with visual downtime, feel free to copy and paste these anywhere it makes sense. Hopefully this helps you create even more great content. Be sure to leave a comment below and share how you're going to use audio visualizers. Thanks so much for watching and keep creating with Camtasia.